Hello, my name is Paulino Lopez, and this is my lecture presentation um, for History of Rock. The topic that I chose was um, House and Techno. So to get started, first I will go ahead and uh, give a little history on House and Techno. So in the early 80s, um, a DJ by the name of Frankie Knuckles um, was in Chicago, uh, was a DJ in Chicago, and um, he started to realize that music was getting a little slower. Um, the disco era had uh, stopped, and music was just wasn't uh, a beat, wasn't um, fast enough like it was before to get people to dance. So what he ended up doing is he ended up um, taking these disco songs and editing them, re-editing them to uh, to intensify the so-called uh, four to the floor uh, disco beat that they had, that those songs had. Um, he edited them to, to make them longer, to make those certain parts longer of the original disco songs where um, the dance part was just longer and extended for the crowds in his clubs that he played in for them to keep on dancing. And he would make these type of edits and um, because he mentioned that songs were getting slower so he had to make these edits saying that people were saying disco was dead that type of thing so he had to make his own music or his own changes to the old music to get that to get that started so um, Frankie Knuckles began to play these in Chicago at his clubs and there was a one, one of the clubs called The Warehouse um, so that's pretty much how this type of music started. Um, got the nickname House because of the warehouse, I'm guessing. So that's, uh, how that started. And then, um, fast forward to around the same time in the early 80s, um, in Detroit, uh, this, uh, this musician by the name of Juan Atkins, or DJ, uh, Juan Atkins, um, he took that house music and mixed it with, uh, European electronica and, um, type of like machine sounds um, and he fused those two with some hip-hop beats hip-hop drums uh, to make this new sound that he called or they dubbed techno so um, those were the two type the two main uh, type of music that got popular during those times and um, some of these early artists included uh, DJ Ron Hardy DJ Pierre, uh, Pierre and Juan Atkins own um, group called Cybertron. So um, as a, a time moved forward in the early 90s, uh, this type of music, this dance music, um, got very popular with British youth. Uh, a little background on that British youth. Um, they, uh, they had a really hard time growing up. Um, their economy wasn't doing too well uh, post-World War II. And um, so they had a really harsh uh, li living environment, so they didn't really have any, any um, anything to strive toward. So they found uh, their own little niche. Their uh, their their um, they were gravitating towards these dance clubs where they would play this type of house and techno, and they would uh, they would take these type of drugs. I would say just to just for the joy of it, just um, to to get away from their harsh lives and this type of drug uh, would be called um, ecstasy uh, which was already well known but um, uh, ecstasy or MDMA as it also, as it also known was was um, pretty much a well-known part of that dance scene and um, taking the ecstasy would in, would enhance their 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 sights and sounds uh, with these with these um, hard-hitting beats of house and techno so uh, this is where it really got started and this is where uh, the rave culture came came around and these raves are really really popular uh, during this times and the fashion included uh, baggy clothes uh, and once these raves hit um, they they got worldwide phenomenon of all these type of uh, music and uh, music clubs playing these type of music with the ecstasy and the downfall was that law enforcement would eventually come in 
and lay down the law and uh, pretty much stop the 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 dealing of uh, ecstasy for these for these type of kids. And um, so that really was a downfall of that that rave culture. But uh, fast forward to today, they um, they it's still it's huge. It's like they got a second a second life. I would say maybe in the late two thousand late 2000s, early 2010s, um, when these type of, this type of music, the EDM music really started to pop, uh, pop off again. And even now it's still really, really popular. So, um, might be even more popular than hip hop, but, uh, currently you have mainstream pop artists, uh, making these type of sounds, type of, uh, dance driven, um, pop hits that you would not have found maybe about 10 15 years ago so these pop artists are moving more towards this dance music and um i'm glad that this class well, gave us a little bit of history of house and techno and um hopefully you guys did learn something all right thank you